We'll be talking about what are some of the drivers, what are the business and technology reasons behind this. Um, and uh, then we'll get some discussion going and we'll make it as interactive as we can about not just the lessons learned, which is of course very important. Um, it's a great takeaway for everybody in the audience, but where, uh, where are some of the new opportunities, right? Where are the places that the company wants to go or thinks it can go or maybe hasn't considered yet? The, the cloud activity we're doing is really part of a business transformation program, program that we've gone public with, with announcement to our investors in the street in uh, past November. And it revolves around, uh, as we've heard this morning, um, applying uh, you know, uh, engineering rigor to the business processes uh, around the world that we, we service our, our uh, customers with. And really having that analysis, the lean analysis, inform the, uh, the, um, the refactoring of our, of our software footprint onto a, a private cloud. And, and, and so it really kind of looks at the complete value chain between identifying a business opportunity or a impediment to efficiency in the business through software development into the operation of the IT and the business process itself. So, you know, Thompson bought Rogers about three years ago, and obviously we've been doing a lot of uh, integration of different assets. And as part of that, we've been trying to be much more efficient about the way we use data centers and collapse certain data centers and consolidate our data center uh, spend. And I think, you know, the tagline I always give is that cloud enables us to think about never building a data center again. So I think the first thing we've been focused on is really around efficiency, around um, making better use of machines that were typically sitting idle because they weren't heavily loaded. Um, because of uh, single-threaded code and stuff like that. So we've done a lot of kind of simplification of our footprint. And it, uh, Robert mentioned earlier, I think one of the key problems we've got is that that's not enough. We now need to move to the next phase, which is really around agility. So it's not, no longer about efficiency. It's about how we actually build systems, the granularity with which we manage systems, and uh, how we actually uh, have a more dynamic environment that can handle loads better and stuff like that. So we're doing a lot of work around the next phase of that cloud-based private cloud technology mm -hmm. applied in, inside our businesses to be more efficient and to be more agile to support the businesses. Uh, we're looking at uh, other functions within, within our suite. So we're looking at CRM, we've looked at HR, we've, we're looking at some other areas. Um, we are, a, from an ERP standpoint, we're a global, uh, uh, global single instance of Oracle ERP. So that's a pretty big piece of what we yeah. do, obviously. Um, but. Uh, you know, one of the things I've learned is that, um, you know, if we look at critical systems, um, if email goes down, I start getting phone calls in minutes. If ERP goes down, it may be a couple of hours. <laughs> so, so email to me is very critical. And, you know, we viewed it as, you know, we don't expect to, be, uh, to gain a competitive advantage by running our own email. Mm -hmm but it can certainly be a competitive disadvantage by not running your email. <laughs> well, productivity. Mm -hmm. So a couple of years ago, we decided to uh, form a center of excellence around cloud to figure out where's the real true cloudonomics, you know, where's the value. And we settled on uh, six towers, we called it. We, we looked at development and test. Uh, we looked at uh, collaboration, uh, desktop, business analytics, storage, and production. So as quickly as we could, we stood up uh, uh, test sites and pilots, and then we scaled where there was success. So for the last two years, some have matured faster than others. There's been a lot of lessons learned, and mm -hmm. we've uh, worked very closely with Robert's team and our global services team to really uh, flesh out the products and services that we have in the market, but obviously to, to generate our own uh, value and benefit. And so I think Robert had on his chart the simple uh, example of success um, early for us was in development and test, where we were provisioning environments in anywhere from a week to three weeks, depending on complexity, and we've gotten it, gotten it down now to about 30 minutes to 90 minutes.